Lil Brunson back at you with the back. At you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. I want to shout out my sister, man. Hook me up with this dope Eagles shirt. It got all the legends, all the people that matter that ever wore the green, all on one shirt. This video gonna make sense. It gotta make sense. Everything I do does, in my opinion. It gotta make sense. This video is gonna absolutely make sense. It's gonna make a lot of things come full circle. Now, there's a writer. There's a writer, um, Leader, uh, Leader Johnson. He does writing for uh, Villanova, Penn State. He watches my videos. That's dope. Uh, I'm gonna put the information for his description so you guys can check him out, man. He's, he's dope, man. He's dope. He's dope. Villanova, Penn State, Big Five schools. I'll put the information to his situation right there in the description below. Okoye Media, man. Okoye Media is a Dallas Cowboys um, content creator who absolutely just 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 impresses me with his pinpoint accuracy and everything that he does. Okoye Media just helped this video. So I want to shout out Okoye Media for that. Okoye Media just interviewed Dayton Jones, Dallas Cowboys player. NFL athlete, I think one of the new acquisitions, if I'm not mistaken. I don't really know the background of him. I just know the guy's an NFL player. That's groundbreaking. That's groundbreaking for this thing that we do. EDP 445 has went viral countless times. Seen him on ESPN. EDP is a viral sensation, whether you like it or not. E-Rock has ties with NBC Sports. Now, I say these things to say this. There's a, there's a myth going on around right now, you know, that... We can't keep the Dallas Cowboys name out of our mouth. Eh, Dallas Cowboys content creators and Dallas Cowboys fans who watch these videos of a lot of people on YouTube like to throw these rocks and hide their hand and say they don't talk about the Eagles. That's fine. That's cool. We don't care if you talk about the Eagles or not. That's up to you. But I will say this. Everybody on national, everybody nationally televised, it's, it's, it's everywhere. The debate. Who's going to the NFC East? Philadelphia Eagles or the Dallas Cowboys? That's a debate we've been having on YouTube. That's a debate I've been having on YouTube about this upcoming season for months now. The, the video's there. The proof is in the pudding. For months now, I've been having this debate. We all acknowledge it's a two-man race on YouTube. They just catching up this, yeah, this week. This week, they just catching up with the acquisition of Jordan Howard and uh, that guy that the Dallas Cowboys just got, that uh, edge rusher. I, I'm drawing a blank right now. For the sixth-round pick, you know what I'm talking about. Now... You think they don't watch YouTube? You think these guys don't watch YouTube? You think that they're not drawing their content from the things that we're talking about? So what you really mean to say, Dallas Cowboys fans, is thank you. Thank you for making this upcoming season a little more interesting. Because it's very interesting to me, which is why I'm talking about it. If you think, listen, I just made a video a week ago. No, no, a week ago. I'm sorry. I made a video about 48 hours ago. Got around 14,000 views on us getting Jordan Howard. I don't have 14,000 subscribers. Where do you think the other 9,000 subscribers come from? Who knows who's watching these videos? These guys are drawing their blanks and they're drawing their inspiration for the topics to debate about on national television from us. From us. From us. They're getting it from the ground. They're getting it from the passion. That's where they're getting it from. So when somebody talks about the Dallas Cowboys as an Eagles content creator, it's acknowledgement of us knowing what's going to happen in the season. It's going to be two good games, one in Philly and one in Dallas. It's going to be, that's point, point blank period. Point blank period. If you think these guys don't watch YouTube, you think these guys don't pull from us, then talk about it. You got to be kidding me, man. It's too much. It's too much that they got to talk about. It's not a lot of us that talk about baseball, soccer. They talk about everything. They talk about everything. They are privy to know what's going on and how the fans feel about stuff because of us. Because of us. So you should thank us. You should thank us. You should thank us instead of saying, oh, we can't keep Dallas' name out of our mouth. We don't want to talk about y'all. If y'all was in the same place, if the Giants were in y'all position, if it was a two-man race between the Eagles and the Giants, we wouldn't even be talking about y'all. We wouldn't be talking about y'all. Now, what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object? What happens? What happens? The immovable object seems to be the Dallas Cowboys. They got five rings. Can't move them. Can't take them away. You can't take away the past and the history. You can't take away the legacy. 
unstoppable object. Now, Tony Romo goes down, Dak Prescott comes in, looks really impressive in preseason. I mean, absolutely impressive in preseason. It's mind boggling. The guy barely throws an incompletion, an inc incomplete pass his rookie year of preseason. Now, we all know Zeke was going to be a dog, but was Zeke going to be Tony's dog or was he going to be Dak's dog? That was the debacle. So long story short, they come out their rookie seasons, Zeke and Dak get the number one seed in the NFC East. Number one seed in the NFC East. Get bounced out, unfortunately, after the bye by, uh, I think it was the Green Bay Packers. Aaron Rodgers got rid of him real quick. And, um, yeah, that's what happened. This whole time, nobody's really bloviating about Carson Wentz except Philly. We know what we got. We know we got something special. We just said he needs some weapons. We he needs some weapons. So he get Alshon Jeffrey the next season. Uh, I believe Zeke and Dak make the NFL top 100 list. Carson Wentz don't even sniff it. I don't even think anybody on the Philadelphia Eagles sniff it. Maybe a couple linemen. You know, nobody's really talking about us. Expectations are low. Alshon Jeffrey said we're going to win the Super Bowl. People laugh. Ah, the Dallas Cowboys still seem to be this immovable object. Then what happens? The Eagles go on a tear. They go on a tear. I'm talking about we end up around somewhere like 7-1, and 8-1, and one, and they are still questioning if we are for real. They're still questioning if we are for real because this is something that they haven't seen from us. They haven't seen this from us. They haven't seen things like this from the Philadelphia Eagles before. And boy, oh boy, did we show them we was for real. We go out there and win a the Super Bowl. So now we look unstoppable. And we're adding pieces to already to, to an unstoppable roster. We're keeping the veterans. We add more pieces in, in Jordan Howard. And, and we're, we're, we're doing absolutely what we should be doing with the window that we have. Now, mind you, we're unstoppable, but you still have this immovable object, which is the Dallas Cowboys. Now, we know they can't move, but they can break. They could break. What happens when they meet? The unmovable breaks because we're unstoppable. The pieces that we're adding are making us unstoppable, in my opinion. And I feel really confident about winning the NFC East. Now, this where this where just pure hate comes to mind. This where pure hate comes to mind. Now, I, I, I've never said Robert Quinn was going to be ineffective. I just gave you the facts. Robert Quinn was ineffective for the last five years. That's a fact. Jordan Howard has been pretty goddamn effective since he got into the NFL. And he's only 24 years old. So nobody is saying like this is a type of running back nobody's never seen. But we are saying that since the quarterback says hike puts the ball in the gut of this guy, he's been the number three guy at getting yards after that happens. Point blank period. Point blank period. So don't try to throw at me. Um, oh, Kamara does more for his team than a Jordan Howard does for the Philadelphia Eagles. Listen, Alvin Kamara had Mark Ingram. When it was time to get tough and grimy, Mark Ingram was that guy. There's only two guys that I can think of, three guys that I can think of that can get tough and grimy with the run and pretty much catch the ball really effectively and just get a bunch of yards every game. Probably four guys. I'm going to go with Saquon Barkley. I'm going to go with Zeke. I'm going to go with Ty Gurley. And I'm going to go with the Swiss Army Knife Christian. I'm going to go with those four guys who can just do everything at the running back position. It's very rare that that happens. So what happens with Jordan Howard? They they feel as though they want to follow the same trend that everybody else in the NFL is following and get a little scat back. So they go get Tariq Cohen. I think that's his name, the little skull, the human joystick. They go get the human joystick and kind of phases out my guy's attempts. Kind of phases out his time on the field. Mind you, this guy never had 300 carries in a season. Zeke does that all the time. They're getting used different. And don't expect this guy to be used the same way. That he would, Don't expect he's going to be used even less probably. Even less probably. We're trying to win a Super Bowl. We're not trying to run a man into the ground. You get where I'm coming from. It's very different. It's very different. So I understand why people say we keep the Dallas Cowboys names in our mouth. But it's did nothing but bring awareness to a national a national scale. Because now they're talking about it on ESPN. Who's going to win the NFC East? It's common sense to talk about. But we've been talking about it. And it's been getting heated between us. Because we are making these monstrous moves. And we're in the same division. I just don't understand where some of y'all heads be at. I just don't understand where some of y'all heads be at. If you want to impress Lord Brunson, go to a game. Make a really good video about your team. Make a video about your team. Save the videos about your feelings and make a video about your team. The Eagles going to win the East, man. I'm trying to tell you, the Eagles going to win the East, and that's how I feel. That's how I feel. If somebody who needs a running back, and some, if, if a team needs a running back, and a team needs an edge rusher as well, and they got the choice between Jordan Howard and Robert Quinn, they're going to get the running back. They're going to get the running back. They're going to get the running back. Don't be fooled because we got this guy for a steal. He about to show y'all that he's going to be hard to deal with in the NFC East. 
He about to show y'all. He been playing in Chicago, man. He been running in the cold. He about to show y'all, bro, how hard it is going to be to deal with him, man. He going to show you. He going to show you, man. He going to show you. Now, this Philadelphia Eagles versus Dallas Cowboys thing is only going to heat up during the course of the summer. It's only going to heat up. It's only going to heat up. Yeah, I've been talking about the Dallas Cowboys quite a lot because we got to go through them most likely if we want to win the NFC East. And they've been talking about us too. They've been talking about us too. They've been real hypocritical. Real hypocritical. They've been talking about us too. You know what I mean? But they're going to keep talking about us because that deep down and deep down inside, I know they fair was about to come next. I know they, I know they fair. You swept us last year. You think you're going to sweep us two seasons in a row? You think you're going to sweep us two seasons in a row? I like to see it, man. Lord Brunson back at you with the back at you. And the unstoppable force is coming.